Okay, so let's talk toxicity and what where life is today. I'm a very mental person. I've been around meth addicts. Um, weed smoking is okay, but meth addicts, heroin addicts, and things of that nature. You know, I think of these people a lot. And, you know, being an empath is hard because you really empathize. You know, I sit around and I think about people. think very, very hard and I become their personalities. So I have the conversation to detox myself and focus my mind. It's kind of hard. You know, sometimes life won't humble you. Stressing and humbleness are two different things. Humbleness is something that happens and it kind of vexes you. People in church are lying to themselves. <laughs> I've seen people work at fast food restaurants and say, if I don't sell everything in tribute to the McDonald's brothers or whomever, whatever restaurant or business name, Part of whatever franchise, whatever. I think a franchise is like companies, this regional thing. Like, there's people that actually know what they're doing in a certain region and they kind of categorize it like that. McDonald's is supposed, to, it's supposed to be a franchise, a well known franchise. I don't know that particular company's name. I think it is just McDonald's brand. But, yeah, I'm very sensitive nature person and I see a lot of people that are pessimists you know being in fast food and stuff I'm in the south ain't too many intellectual people down here I mean when you're a woman women tend to be more sensitive about certain things I mean I've seen hypersensitive men too but as far as me Living this experience, I'm sitting here stressing for absolutely no reason. I could have stayed a happy person that never lost their virginity or their mind for that matter because I'm out here doing stuff that I don't want to do, like that I don't want to do, like shooting at people, stabbing people, etc. I have morality. That's why they taught it to me, so I could feel guilty. So, I've been around a lot of old school people. A lot of people do have humbling experiences. I do come from an area of dysfunction. When I was a kid, there was people teaching me things. That's why I say, take a village. You got to be careful. Cover. Be careful. So people teaching me how to spit on people and all kind of shit. I mean, if a man teaching you how to be a, a female, that should let you know that ain't the type of man you want to be with. I wouldn't want to be with no man teaching me how to be a woman unless he was my dad. So with all that being said... A lot of the people that I grew up around, for some reason, I found myself pulling out guns on people, shooting at them, and I'm like, I understand. I don't. I still don't know what the concept of autism means, but like I said, I I really think that it has something to do with a consistency of normal or abnormal behavior, and people are being viewed autistic because they got bullied, because they have speech impediments, because they're stressing, basically. So, you know, I've never really. There was never a bond really formed when I was a kid with the people that I grew up around. All those Geechee people that were just ghetto and stuff, they really were overthink, overthinking. I don't think we should, I think we should pay homage, but I don't think we should humble ourselves for the struggle of others who came before us. You know what I'm saying? You pay tribute to them, but I really hope that way, way in the future, that it's way less stressed out people because I'm seeing a lot of people with 
black marks under their eyes, and everybody just want to be macho. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that because there are places you can go where you probably can get access to a better quality of land and things of that nature by being macho if you know how to get to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, I want a lot of shit to happen naturally for me, like being on a construction site and um, climbing up rails and shit. If people weren't in shape, we probably wouldn't have things angled a certain way and some of these buildings wouldn't come out pretty and beautiful like they are. So I thank God for in shape people. I really would like to be in shape, but you know, people have plotted on my downfall. I grew up stressing for absolutely no reason and I don't regret it because I have a mom. And I'm like, all the things that we're doing, we're just catering to, you know, mankind. You know what I'm saying? The earth, we're just basically... I basically grew up around people that was teaching me to do negative things. And I'm like, it's it's something that comes with the grounds of being born in this world. If you're born here, there are going to be people that are, blah, 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 that are going to actually hate on you or teach you to do things that might not be healthy for you. I mean, they may mean well, but you have to figure that out with your own intellectual capacity. If they mean well or they're, they're not for you, and that's, I guess, what humbles you in life or what you realize how reality works is you grow up in a world and some people will sympathize and some people won't, and you'll be put, you know, in people will categorize you and, you know, either this can happen or that can happen. I really felt like me and my mom could have a simple life but people were sitting there and wanted to make things harder. So I'm like, understand that when it comes to nationalism, a lot of people being macho is the reason why we got all these beautiful buildings and things of that nature. But, you know, that's why we have, we got counseling and all that. It's all these beautiful different dilemmas and subcultures and, you know what I'm saying, intellectual paths and unintelligent paths and all that shit that we have in the realms of the paradigm of just living on this earth that actually makes us, you know, better people and, you know, people will pay homage to us. I don't care how good of a bad person you are. You live here and you enjoy the experience. I could barely articulate because of stress, because of worrying about, am I a girl walking, having curves, craving dick? It's all game. It's stupid. I shouldn't be worried about shit like that. That's why I made a promise to myself to never bring a baby into this world, even though I understand the paradigm or and or the reality of me being a girl. Somebody had somebody convinced I was a retard. People can do that. It could be some, some adult that sit there and pretend to be dumb and shit on your whole family. That's pretty much what happened to me. All that rings in my subconscious. A lot of the people that I grew up around are being viewed as retarded and All kind of shit. It really made no sense. Everybody on this earth has a struggle. I know I have one because I done did too much analyzation. <laughs> too much analyzing. To uplift the men that will never understand what it feels like to be treated like a woman. I don't care about being respected by a man and then like that. So I guess I'm bitch. But I, what I do care about is the nature of human existence. Human existence and, you know what I'm saying... The way that I see all these women that stressing after the fact that they took dick and sitting here having to um, worry about they're going to be rejected, not on an emotional level, and then counselors making money off them. Then you got to figure out somebody doing shit from their heart. It really don't matter. People just dumb as fuck. Because, I mean, once you have, if I have access to all the guns I wanted, I'd be knocking so many people off just based off the fate of my life. And I'm like, you got all these damn Jamaican people talking about you ain't got no humble spirit and shit. I'm like, it's enough people here on this world. I be looking at videos on YouTube, and I don't know what's true or not, but they be like, well, in this region, we have 2 million people. It's probably not as many people as we think think it is, especially with all this killing and shit that's supposed to be going on. You can't believe everything you hear. You have to believe more of what you see and feel. Like, physically, like... If you see it and you touch it, it's there. I mean, you can hear it sometimes, but your, all your, your senses work differently. You know what I'm saying? Better if you see it, 
Nine times out of ten is real unless you have some type of delusional reality to your mind, which is why I think they came up with the concept of schizophrenia. I'm sure you wondering why I'm broke. When I was a kid, somebody was telling me that I taught you how to spit out food and shit. There were people sitting there teaching me to stress myself. They were using me for a reverse psychological detox. There are people that are emo. Um, what that shit called? Witchcraft. Um, I was trying to shit like that. People were eating disorder because somebody sat there and they had a paradigm. They were sitting there trying to enjoy their neighborhood and be homeless, but people kept judging them and created a negative pessimistic mindset. That's what happened to a lot of people that are supposed to be natural and shit. Like when you go to Jamaica, you see all that beautiful fertile land. And like some people go there and just drop me off in the middle of the jungle and run. It, sometimes it, it takes heart to do stuff like that because I'm like, I, I be, uh, I guess, taking little walks and shit. But I'm like, if I was to run for seven hours, I would definitely need water at least every 30 minutes. I would need something to drink. Just based off the way my mind works. Now, I can force the shit and be macho, but that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker go to Jamaica and be like, man, shit, if you buy a waterfall and it's hot as fuck, you're going to drink that damn water. Whether you got OCD or not. You know, I know a lot of people be saying that American culture is weird, sport and stuff, but we really not. We we have the same type of system. It works the same way out here. And that's why I think life is beautiful. Like I've said in one of my other videos, things balance each other out. People that's from other countries may view you as a detox. It works like that. I view you making people as a detox, the good people anyway. The sound of the music, the culture. Just not this whole paradigm of heterosexuality. Like, I view a lot of shit as a detox. I just don't like that man woman shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the essence of a man. Like, you watching videos like Skyball and shit. I like that. But them videos is a reverse psychological detox. It's a, it's a reflection of what's going on. But sometimes videos give us a happier vibe of what we really experience. Like, you know, the fact that it's niggas walking around saying, I'm making money, I'm muscle, I'm chilling with bad bitches every day, I'm on the block. I appreciate them videos. Whether they, you know, still got that sack or not. Like, somebody knew you had it at one time. Like, man, that nigga probably was out there in L.A. I could tell some of these videos of shot Wiz Khalifa, Pennsylvania, wherever the fuck they from, they out there in L.A. chilling like, man, I had a good day. I made some legit money, and I hit a lick, and I chill with some bad bitches, and I'm muscle, and all that shit. Just having fun. That's what I want. Me being a female is a very, is a wake up call. It's very humbling for me. <laughs> I'm like, that's the only reason why I'm broke. I have all these people disrespecting me and expect me to play a certain role. When we get into a world that's undefined, we'll live way better. But since we have the concept of narcissism and everybody, you know, understands that this being this dangful, arrogant, and egotistical or something that comes with human nature. People just gonna be getting rubbed the wrong way all the time. I eat at this Mexican restaurant all the time, and I'm pretty sure there are families. There are family bonds that are established that nobody can come between. My family is not close knit. That's why we're not getting the respect that we need. There's no counseling that can fix it. What's happened has happened. When I was a kid, I was supposed to be with a boy. Everybody started being homophobic with me, and I wasn't understanding when I'm like, it's against the law for us to be fucking this shit in the first place. I've seen some pretty good neighborhoods, but everybody has a story to tell. That's the point of all this fucked up shit going on out here. I was out there in Ravenwood, and I was saying that all them damn people was a part of gangs and shit, some of these people from Florida and shit like that, and I'm like, y'all seen it destroying this damn neighborhood for no damn reason, but them people said they were from Jamaica, so they probably was out there building little 
um, what you call it, hay houses and shit, which I think is fun. But in America, depending on the level of quality of life you experience as far as like living in apartments and houses and shit like that, you will appreciate a good vacation in a cabin house or something. You can build that shit yourself. But based off the stress that I've dealt with in my life, I probably want to enjoy something. I probably would enjoy something that I built myself in a private area. And so I'm like, I can go to Los Angeles right now, hit a lick or whatever or something, and fill out an application for a house. And I would never know who actually owns all the shit. That's what being muscle is about. I'm like, I mean, I be in all these different places, and I don't know who owns what. I can just, I'm like, somebody took their time to go on a Walmart, Walmart website and actually input their information in. If you know how to do that, you're an intellect. I took the assessment. I filled out an application for a, a couple of places out here in Somerville, and I'm like, it really doesn't make no sense to me why I'm broke. I not seen too much money, but that's what being disdainful is about. This is why narcissism, there's cons to it. There are people that are going around attacking people's paradigm and wanting them to be broke. I'm like, just let me go out and have fun. If you don't like me, y'all should have been killed me. I'm fucking 30 years old. Y'all might well go ahead and let me live my life. You can't help what parents you're born under. It's some shit you got to figure out for yourself. Everywhere I go, I see the same people. That's how I know it ain't too many people out here. Everybody's paradigms are not the same. I've got people that I grew up around that formed an advantage over me seemingly because of heterosexuality. So I'm like, in my city, I'm getting treated like shit. But I'm like, I don't understand why they're even acknowledging me. Why Why get mad at me for not being in a relationship? Why? Just not going about your business. <laughs> We've got gang leaders that live in certain areas. I'm like, I grew up in the same neighborhood this nigga growing up. Why y'all making a big deal out of this dude? People just, I got a sociology book. I, I just got to study more. When I start riding them greyhounds and seeing all them open land fields, like it's little country places you can go. I don't say it might not be even be that many people out here. I'm going to start just writing shit down based off what I see in the environment. Based off. <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what's ringing in my head. <clears throat> Somebody used to um, pretend to be dumb. Or just, you know what I'm saying, not pretend to be dumb, but just, you know, there's somebody that's ringing in my head, and it's really annoying. I got, like, people in my family that speak Creole. I don't know if they really uh, associated with me or not, but what I do know is I feel inferior to men, and I actually take men more seriously than women. And, like, listening to all this music, Sky Baller, and all these people, I'm like, it's really hard for me to take a female voice seriously. I look at us the same way that some of these niggas do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every man can't be no rapper. They could if they wanted to, but that's not what it's about. When you a man living on this earth, all you got to do is show you got good character, work out, and show you can protect your family. So me dealing with these men sitting here getting mad at the fact that I won't conform um, after a man penetrate me with his penis and then being viewed as the inferior, it really don't make no sense to me that they using me to um, justify their manhood. It really doesn't make any sense to me. It's really a bit cliche. Like, you know, I work at a McDonald's restaurant and I think my grandma did. I don't know. People when I was a kid was very manipulative. They were probably, you know, when you a kid and you start forming paradigms, you pretty much can be manipulative or a good person. Or, I mean, I ain't going to say being manipulative is a bad thing all the time, but it's more so associated with negativity than anything. It's a bad emotion that, you know, people experience. But, you know, it's a part of, like, feeling betrayed and being betrayal and shit like that. So, <laughs> I've experienced a lot of personality changes because of my own existence. And those are what um, are ringing in my head. And I have to constantly just realize that, that 
person really just changed their personality for me. I'm like, I realized that I'm really rejecting a certain person. I'm really rejecting certain people because of the way that they come off. And I'm like, I got grew up pretty much getting tortured by a bunch of people that really just wanted to keep a certain notoriety in society, a certain um, class, a certain um, reputation. And I hate the fact that I was personally used for them to gain and keep that reputation. And it really don't make no sense because I'm like, I ain't nobody special. When I look at myself now, I see a black person. I'm like, damn. All right, I see what's going on. I'm like, people are manipulative because a, a man, the, the men that I grew up with, they have kids and shit, right? Okay, you got kids at an early age. Yeah, this so-and-so been buying weed for me for since I was a kid, right? That's they, that's their experience as a man. And then as they get older, they like, yeah, you know me, man, shit. You know, I fuck your ass up. I did 12, I used to do 12 push-ups, now I do 12,000. I muscle out here. That's how it worked for men. Being a woman ain't that special to me. I'm like, even if I, even if I did do 12,000 push-ups, Even if I did do 12,000 push-ups, I definitely still wouldn't value myself as a person simply because I'm inferior to a man. All this shit for men is really put on a pedestal. I've got a cousin that I just seen at McDonald's. I still don't know if she's my cousin or not, but all these people are, are autistic personalities to me. I know because I've analyzed each people. Even when I went to Mississippi, I'm like, I, it's people that's literally targeting me for no reason. I'm like, if you don't like me, you need to go ahead and knock me off. I don't like, I don't want to get tortured. I still don't understand the nation of GD. My cousin, or supposed, my supposed cousin, is supposed to be, um, some type of OG to herself. We was all supposed to be growing up in the hood. We was all supposed to be hood hoes and shit. That's not the type of life that I want to live. <laughs> growing up, all the women cussing each other out, thinking it's normal, calling each other hoes, little lazy ass bitches and shit. The women in my life are weak to me. I don't like the fact that these women are sitting here trying to, they, they, I respect their love for me. They sitting here trying to show their intellectual capacity so much to the point where they don't want to knock me out because they really want to die with a humble spirit. I'm not doing it. Every time I get a gun in my hand, I'm knocking some off this, 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 that has disrespected me. When I was a kid, somebody used to give me heroin shots and everything. All these people are toxic for me. I did Queen of the Ring. I just started spazzing out just from stress. And I'm like, I don't know who that fair funeral girl is, but she toxic for me. Her accent, her way of coming up, everything. No, I was not taught to be masculine or feminine. I was merely just taught to just grow up. I was a country bumpkin, growing my baby, going outside, picking out the gardens, picking out fruits and vegetables out the garden. And I was taught to respect the land and shit and whatnot. As I got older, I was seeing all these random people just spaz out. We all narcissists in this bitch. They sitting there doing all this shit to me because they need love. Now that I'm getting older, some of these people look pathetic. I started smoking cigarettes because of some of these people. People get jealous. We women. You might have it at first. And certain things happen naturally, you know, like paradigms you form and shit. I, I still kind of, you know, experience chauvinism to myself. I've dealt with a lot of unintelligent people in my life, so it rings in my head. That's why I'm like, man, these people done did all this shit to me for no reason. <laughs> I don't know who the Tymesha girl was that I grew up around, but she rings in my head. She obviously was a negative personality for me. I don't know who she was, but us being called inbreds and just living, you know what I'm saying? All these random people in my life that I was supposed to view as my family members. I'm like, we can't hang out with each other if we're toxic for each other. I got bad experiences with experiences with Geechee people. I have a negative connotation on my mind about these people. 
they may be they may or may not be solid to themselves but how I feel is I just want to live my life not live no life for somebody else y'all got kids and shit now go on about y'all day don't be trying to keep me broke I ain't got to respect y'all family by now I'm 30 years old now stop trying to keep me broke and control me I can only do so much I got families and y'all can enjoy, enjoy that shit right there I mean, I'm sorry about the fact that after I took dick, I didn't want to be with a man because that's not how I think it should have been, how it should have happened. I think I should have got older and then that date and decide what gender I wanted to be with. But eventually some of these rules will be, you know, enforced. And shout out to law enforcement. There are a lot of people that works at work as sheriffs and police officers, deputies, captains, lieutenants, sergeants. Shout out to all y'all. Do y'all thing. Y'all going down in history, you know. Somebody will appreciate it one day when the world is a better place. I have to realize that I'm a female. And I try to forget about that from an intellectual standpoint. But people keep reminding me of that. And I'm like, we're really not being put on no pedestal unless it's just a perfect situation. And I'm like, I got all these people calling me out my name, belittling me and shit. I don't, get a, I don't give a fuck about being macho and shit. What I give a fuck is about what I give a fuck about is erasing all these bad memories and focusing my mind. All these bad memories need to go. You know, God is not a detox for me. And that's just a point blank period. So y'all stop being holy rollers. I understand that religion, I, you know, understand religion helps people have morality. I agree with it to from that aspect. But as far as in a general sense, if it's not healthy for you on an emotional level, don't even bring it up. Find another religion. That's so why I was like, I'd be better off if I was a man. I'd probably be a Muslim. But there are people that really live a certain way. I know I've seen commercials where people, lots of people sit on the bridges and stuff. I'm like, it's probably worse in Mexico and all these different places. It really takes people to build a nation. That's why they call it a socialist government, democracy, the people. It really is up to us to keep all this shit going and keep all these empty buildings full and keep building them to make a city. It really is up to people. Now, we may or may not be perfect in our intellectual capacity, but that's up to us too. I don't read as much as I want to, at a, as, at a good pace as I want to, but I read. You know, I've been... Telling people that I grew up and people that speak pig land are toxic for me. Because the people in my life that do speak pig land, they talk a certain way. That's why I view them as autistic personalities. But when I start studying studying literature, I really am trying to justify it. <laughs> because, you know, from old Max and players of pimps, that's the culture that I come from. That's how people grow up. It don't mean that you're necessarily living that out. It's just a culture. That we embrace when you're living in a ghetto. But, you know, some people really are retarded. Some people really do have a certain personality. And, you know, sometimes we associate fast-pacedness with intellectual capacity. That's why I think I'm being judged when it comes to certain things. And I'm not at the same. I don't plan to reach too high of a level of anything. I just really want some money. And um, to be able to move, maneuver around and go to hotel rooms. But there are people that want to keep up with you, keep up with your transaction. That's all them banks. Them banks is probably built by random people. They either stole money or really had money some type of way in history. And they going around keeping up with financial transactions all around the world. That's all it is. So I'm like, <laughs> all these men and shit, that's supposed to be their role. A man is not supposed to be controlling to me. That's why I'm like, all these conform, this conformed idea with a man being the head of the household, you know what I'm saying? It sounds controlling, but I'm pretty sure in a real monogamous relationship that they either use reverse psychology and it, and it is controlling or it's really not. It's just something that you have to experience to understand that y'all are really just man and woman. That's just really a connotation. It's really a um, label and y'all have to work out, see what you can do strength and weakness strengths and weaknesses <laughs> from my understanding for what I see there are a lot of men female male bonds 
and some of them are not healthy for me. I've seen a lot of people go through a lot of shit. There are people that really, I mean, I went to Florida and I pretty much seen somebody, a lot of them Mexicans and shit, they built a certain way. That's what I've been dealing with. So, they really built a certain way. It really don't make no sense. You know, we were being oppressed by a gang that was sitting there trying to make me have, you know, sympathy for men. And they were sitting there torturing us. And to, to, this, to this day, I'm still dealing with all these people. These damn Mexican gangs are something else. Racism happened naturally, though. But, yeah, when I was a kid, there was somebody, I think somebody named Pablo or something, you know, had people follow me around, said they used to put saliva in my mouth and tell me I was beneath the man and worship his dick and shit. It's just crazy, the mental capacity of certain people. I don't want to doubt these memories, but I'm creating create new memories for myself and keep it moving. I just got to worry about all these people that I'm sitting here rain on my parade simply because I want to be an individual. That's it. I'm just an individual by myself.